All right, three, two, one. It's great to have Jake Bug in the Roadhouse. Dark and speed bump city where the only thing that's pretty is the thought of getting out. There's a tower block overhead, all you got your benefits and you're barely scraping by. In this troubled town, troubles are found. In this troubled town, word soon gets round. Kick the ball to make troubles flee and smoke until our eyes are bleed. The spark will pop the seed. Hear the sirens down the street The kids get loud on their feet Or they'll be in the back seat In this troubled town Troubles are found For you are sitting on the pavement Boy, you missed your payment And they're gonna find you soon If there's a beat it Somewhere there's a secret road to take me far away I know, but till then I am hollow In this troubled town, troubles are found In this troubled town, what soon gets round For you are sitting on the pavement, boy, you missed your pay City where the only thing that's pretty is the thought of getting out. This song's called Two Fingers. I drink to remember, I smoke to forget. Some things to be proud of, some stuff to regret. Down some dark alleys in my own head, but something's changing, changing, changing. I go back to Clifton to see my old friends, the best people I could ever have met. Skin off a fat one, hat from the feds. But something's changing, changing, changing. So I kiss goodbye to every little. Pain, light a cigarette and wish the world away. I got out, I got out, out alive, and I'm here to stay. So I hold two fingers up to yesterday, light a cigarette and smoke it all. My mama, the yelling and fighting And it's not the first time Praying for silence But something's changing, changing, changing So I kiss goodbye to every little ounce of pain
I've learned some new tricks, yeah So I kiss goodbye to every little ounce of pain Light a cigarette and wish the world away I got out, I got out, out alive and I'm in stay Jake Bug is here in the Roadhouse on KXP. Jake, it's great to have you in studio with us. Oh, well, no, thanks for having me, man. Thanks for coming in. The self-titled debut records on Mercury came out in the States last, or actually early this year, but it came out in the UK quite a while ago. It's quite an old record for you now, actually. Yeah, it's about uh, nearly a year now. Yeah. Well, it's been quite a couple years for you, Jake. Um, you know, everyone has been mentioning the, the rise of, of popularity for you and your music, and how has it been for you to... Really, you know, you're you're been busy for a couple of years playing about every night. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's been. I suppose it's been crazy, but for me, I, I don't kind of really know anything else. I mean, I left school and wrote songs for a year and got signed and made this album and just been on the road ever since. And yeah, I, I mean, I get to travel the world and play music and meet great people. I I wouldn't want it to do anything else. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, I guess we should mention to the audience who do not know you, you're 19 years old. You're from Nottingham. Uh, uh, England, and um, you've been, I think you, I read you got a guitar at about age 12, and you started writing songs pretty soon thereafter, and, and here you are, uh, major label, and the record went to number one last year. It's quite a quite a story. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's mad because, um, I mean, ever since I picked up the guitar, I know it's what I, I wanted to do, and, and when I got to about 14, I was only playing covers up to that point, and I thought, well, all these songs I enjoy playing have all been written by these people. And uh, and I know that some of those songs, they can make your day sometimes, and I thought, well, if I could write songs that might make somebody else's day, then it sounds like the best job ever. And um, and and because uh, it's all I ever dreamed about, when it eventually became reality, I never thought it would. But when it did... Didn't feel strange because it's all I ever thought about. Yeah, so you never recognized what a great voice you had or what talent you had for writing songs. You just thought you're just doing your thing, and then someday suddenly you're recognized, and, and here you go. Yeah, I mean, just I think there's always room for improvement, and I just want to keep writing songs and making records. Yeah, um, you know, a lot of the songs seem to be informed on from where you came from, from the album. Those two songs, especially, uh, you grew up in something called they're called council estates, which I guess roughly could translate to sort of projects in America. Um, and it seems like that has informed at least that first album. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, like I said before, I did this first album. I've never been out of England. I've never been anywhere else. So I could only write about what I knew and what I'd seen and what I'd experienced growing up there. And um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, who are these people that you were listening to? You mentioned just a second ago, as far as the these cover songs you were playing, and you seem to be, from what I can hear from your music, you seem to be a bit informed uh, by older music and maybe a lot of American artists. Yeah, well, I, I love anything, and I have a lot of American influences, and you know, I'm a big fan of like Johnny Cash, and Jimi Hendrix. Obviously, I remember the first time I heard Jimi Hendrix and feeling great and disheartened at the same time knowing that you want to be able to do that i can never do that <laughs> but um yeah and of course a local native to us here yeah and you i think you were telling me you first time you arrived in the states was seattle it was kind of your landing point for your first time um traveling and touring over here is that right oh uh, yeah that's right it's the first place i ever came to in the states yeah, yeah. what do you think i like it the weather's a bit like england though yeah it's it is. <laughs> a lot like that this is Jake Bug. It's great to have him in the Roadhouse. How about another song, Jake? Yeah, of course. This song, uh, we, we talked about how, uh, all the songs on my album are about what I experienced and stuff. And this one uh, this one was something I wrote to try and get away from that and put myself somewhere else. It's a little song called Country Song. Gonna sing 
you an old country song from the heart so I can cry all night and call you when I'm sad oh when you've gone run so far from me in the tree so far walking down that old country lane drops of rain Call upon the ones who call your name Will I see you again And please just come on back home To me So I'm not all alone Gonna sing you an old country song From the heart From the strings of this old rusty guitar Jake Bug, country song, he's live in studio in the Roadhouse. Great to have you here, Jake. Oh, what a what a nice imagery that was going onto that country. Yeah, kind of a road uh, area. That was the that was kind of the point. I looked out the window one day and it was a bit grey, not very nice to know what you call projectarian. I wanted to put myself somewhere else. Yeah, well, you are going to a lot of places. You're uh, you've been in California quite a bit recording with Rick Rubin. Um, I understand the album is probably close to being done. Yeah, it's, it's finished. It is finished, yeah, okay. Done, yeah. And hoping for maybe a release date maybe later this fall. Uh, yeah, I believe it's uh, either, well, for you guys, because you got an album in like April, I think it was, that it was uh, you know, it's a bit too much for like in a space in, of like six months or whatever. So you probably get it maybe in a few tracks November and then January, cool. I think. Yeah. So Rick Rubin, one of my favorite people, um, was it great to work with him? And uh, does he allow you a lot of room and, and space to be creative and... Uh, in a studio, wherever it is. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean the uh, the actual space itself is Shangri La. But that's what I've named the album after because uh, means place of peacefulness or whatever. And that's exactly what it feels like. It's inspiring, and Rick's chilled and wants to, gets the best out of the artist. And it's just a, I had a great time. I was there for two weeks, and I heard that that's the longest I've stayed anywhere in one place for two years. Yeah, that must have been nice. Yeah, it was very nice. Yeah. And that was in Malibu, and, and actually from what I read, so Shangri-La is the, is the name of the studio, but it's a house. Yeah, And is, yeah. from what I understand, it was like the band's old house, which I didn't even know they had a house in California. I mean, I'm yeah, familiar with Big Pink and all that, but not the California house. Well, when you walk in, it's like got, um, like wooden engravings on the floor, like saying the band 1976. Nice. Right? Cool, yeah. Um, what other bands do you like that uh, kind of um, old, uh, I guess, American-style bands do you like? Oh, at the Everly Brothers. Mm -hmm. They're great. Um, I put them on the spot now. Yeah, that's, I'm good at that. Yeah, when the, that's the thing is, like, whenever you try, you, you can have the old, get any music you want and then you suddenly can't think. Can I know, I? well, there's just so much. I mean, that's the thing about uh, music and going backwards, I guess, in your listening, it's like you can never you can never be done, you know, yeah, which is evidenced it. by all these great reissues that are coming out in the past 10 years of this. It's never done as far as the wealth of music in the past, it, it seems like. Yeah, and the, the Nirvana, this one. There's one, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, what else are you going to do in Seattle? Do you have time to do anything in these towns when you come through? Oh, uh, no, not really. I mean, last time I was here, I went to... Uh, first ever Starbucks which is a little um, the one down in the market yeah, yeah. and um, and then I heard there was a Jimi Hendrix statue so I went to this Jimi Hendrix statue and I was expecting this big thing it's some little thing like outside a little supermarket or something yeah. it was still pretty cool though. yeah 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 <laughs> 
You know, uh, you were with Valerie June. She was opening for you, and she mentioned Hendrix as well as being one of. She went through a Hendrix phase, I guess, at some point. Did you guys vibe on that at all, or talk at all about that? No, we didn't get to the Hendrix phase actually. Yeah, mm. oh, yeah. we'll have to get on that next time. Is the new album more electric and kind of less uh, acoustic or folky? Um, th- there's not as many like just acoustic tracks, but I'd say there's the same balance of upbeat songs. I'd say the upbeat, more up tempo songs are heavy on, but also. I have the other side of what I do, which is the more ballading, acoustic stuff, and yeah. the balance is about the same as it was on the first okay, record. Okay, cool. Yeah, and what are you drawing from this time, since you've been traveling so much? Are you meeting all kinds of characters and people yeah, on the road? Yeah, definitely, yeah, and having opportunities I never thought I'd get. And and, and also, like it, it was quite interesting, to all the things that I, I talk about in the first album, like, you can go to another part of the world, the other side of the world, and still see similar aspects of that stuff that goes on, and that was that was quite interesting to see. Cool. You know, you went from, you know, playing the, the, the BBC introducing stage at Glastonbury two years ago, and then last year you were on the big main stage with like 70,000 people. How can that, how does that, what does that feel like? It, uh, it's, I don't know, it's strange. I, I mean, on reflection, it's quite crazy, but in the moment, and it just looks like, you know, all blurred faces and it all looks the same after the first few rows. And I mean, it was an amazing feeling. Um, it's, it's quite hard to describe, to be honest. Do you get nervous? Apprehensive. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I get nervous, but the first ever time I got up and performed in front of people was um, was when, at a school concert when I was about 14 or 15. And, um, and that that's the scariest show you're ever going to do in front of all your classmates Absolutely. that you're going to see. And so whenever I get nervous or apprehensive, I just think of that. And, you know, it's, and it's all good. It, it all, it's all good. Yeah. It's great to have Jake Bug in studio. How about one more song? Yeah, man. Or two, if you want. Or two. All right. Play, I play, I play another one, man. Okay. Sounds cool, Berg.
story of peace and love in a future bright sacrifice. If they let you breathe Don't give a damn if you still can't see Traveling a street that I did not know We was like tongue to the winter low Down in the valley where the church bells cry I'll lead them over to your That's fantastic. Oh, cheers, man. Great song. Jake Bug is here in the Roadhouse. Sounds called Lightning Bolt. Morning, it's another pure grey morning. Who knew what the day's holding? When I get up tired and I walk right into the path of a lightning bolt. Of an ambulance comes howling right through the center of town, and no one blinks an eye. And I look up to the sky, and the path of a lightning bolt. Matter is the angels parted for her, but it only brought me torture. That's what happens when it's you that's standing in the path of a lightning bolt. Everyone I see just wants to walk with green and deep, but I just Say that there aren't any answers Starting to agree But I woke suddenly In the path of a lightning bolt Fortune People talking all about fortune Do you make it or does it just call you In the blinking of an eye Just another passerby In the path of a lightning bolt Everyone I see Just want to walk with green and tea But I just When the moment got shattered Remember what she said And then she fled In the path of a lightning bolt Jake Bug, the song Lightning Bolt from the self-titled debut record. Looking for the new one coming out this fall. You'll hear it here on KXP First. Jake, it was a pleasure to have you here. Thanks so much. Well, no, thanks for having me, man. Thank you.